Hi, I'm Mark Mann and I'm the Application Engineering Manager for Air Moving Products here at Price Industries. Having talked to hundreds of consulting engineers across North America, we've identified two major pain points. We'd like to introduce the Price Engineers Toolkit for Microsoft Excel, which is addressing those pain points to boost efficiency and improve performance accuracy. The first step to using the Price Engineering Toolkit for Microsoft Excel is to download it. We can find this on the Price Industries website or by searching up Toolkit for Excel on Google. All we have to do is click download here. This is gonna link us to the Microsoft App Store. This is a fully free tool. And by clicking get it now, we're gonna to link to the Microsoft 365 Store, your online account, to complete this process. All we have to do is click open in Excel and get started. So here we are now in Microsoft Excel, and we can see the Price Engineers toolbar at the top of the screen. This is where all of the functionality of the Price Engineers Excel Toolkit exists, and this is what we're gonna be looking at today. Now below here as well, we have what I would kind of consider a standard consulting schedule for single duct units um, that most consulting engineers would see and utilize throughout the country. It has all the data we need. It has airflow, temperatures for water and air. However, the reality is we can boost the value of this schedule. And we can do that by providing a cloud-based solution, dynamic schedule with real price industries performance. So in order to create this dynamic schedule, we're gonna start by clicking on single duct units at the top of the screen and create schedule. Now we're gonna see some options pop up. And there's a variety of products we could use from fan powered boxes to GRD to single duct units. But in this case, we're gonna choose a single duct unit with a water coil. The only other option we need to choose to continue is our solution method. Our solution method is really the most important variable in our system of equations. We could choose the capacity of the water coil, the fluid flow rate through it. But in this case, I'm gonna choose LAT, which stands for leaving air temperature. Leaving air temperature is a very solid choice because it's most directly tied to occupant thermal comfort. The next step is to click generate schedule and we can continue. So now here we have our empty dynamic price Excel toolkit for engineers Excel schedule. And I've gone ahead and I've highlighted some columns here in green. This schedule at first glance looks a little bit confusing, but I can assure you it's actually very simple. All we have to do is put some info in these green columns to get a valid and dynamic single duct with a hot water selection. I'm gonna start here with air flows and I'm plugging in a few kind of standard assumptions just so we can detail and show you how this process works. Uh, these air flows which I'm plugging in would be compliant with ASHRAE 90.1 uh, when we consider our reheat value, uh, you know, being half of our cooling maximum. Moving to air pressure, we're gonna start by putting in 1.25 and 0.25 inches water gauge. Very traditional industry assumptions for inlet and downstream static pressure for a single duct unit. And from there, I'm gonna move to the right of the screen here. This is where we actually fill out the data for our water coil. And we're gonna need to add some temperatures here and some other relevant data in order to make a real selection. So we're gonna start off with our primary return and entering water temperature with kind of industry typical 55, 75, and 140 degree uh, Fahrenheit. We'll move here to our coil options, which is our casing and coil capacity. In this case, it's the choice between a standard or an oversized casing. We're gonna go with a standard option here, very common for most of uh, North America. And then our coil capacity, which is standard or 10, 10 fins per inch versus high capacity or 12 fins per inch. In this case, we'll go standard as well. We then specify our coil rows of two and our solution method, a leaving air temperature of 95 degrees Fahrenheit. And what we can see from this column now is a fully configured dynamic line of price industries performance. This is fully uh, calculated before our eyes with a cloud-based solution. And this is a general sense of how we would start to fill out this schedule. In order to make this conform with the static schedule we looked at earlier, I'm going to cut away here, do some of that work, and then we're gonna get back together and review that step.
So here we have our dynamic schedule fully populated with all of the static data from the original schedule that we looked at previously in this video. Taking all of this data and kind of populating it into this format really took me only about five minutes. But what we can see here is fully dynamic performance data pulling from the cloud automatically updating and calculating. Now, a few things to note further that can provide some value here. The first is the fact that this is still just Microsoft Excel. For instance, if I wanted to add more lines to this standard schedule, it's as easy as, you know, in some cases, dragging and dropping and allowing the auto population tools of Excel to take over. Another thing which I'd like to note highlighted here in blue is the fact that we actually have our liner options um, specified and outlined here in a drop down menu. And this is something that automatically populates as well. Now, when we looked at the static schedule, there was a note that actually called out a hospital grade liner, which in this case would be our fiber free option. But when we originally populated this schedule, we had fiberglass. I can toggle and change back and forth with just a click of a button and all of the sound performance or other corresponding performance is going to automatically update and change for us. One other thing to note here, which I've highlighted in orange, is the fact that we have unit size in this case currently prescribed by the price terminals single duct inlet size function. The reality is this isn't maybe always what's best for the consulting engineer and it certainly isn't mandatory. If we look at the static schedule, we actually had sizes of 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. Now in this case, I can update those, statically override the function that already was existing, and we can still see all of that dynamic performance updates. We have had a change in the hot water coil performance corresponding to that change in unit size. This is truly a no guardrail solution. Now, the only other steps that I would recommend here would be potentially just some formatting and cleanup. You know, hiding information we don't need, deleting information we don't need. However, that's pretty standard and, and typical Excel workflow and functionality. So what we're gonna do here is cut away really quickly and show you guys the finished product. So here we have our cleaned up and formatted fully dynamic schedule. All we've done here is, you know, change some fonts, some sizes. Uh, we've reformatted, hidden some cells, deleted others. But what this is, is, you know, just a cleaned up version of what we were previously looking at. However, what I wanna do here quickly is an aside to really talk about the functionality of this being a dynamic cloud-based solution. And to highlight that, we're gonna look at the heating capacity cell here and the formula inside. Price.watercoils.capacity. We can see this as highlighting and pulling to numerous other cells within this spreadsheet. The reality is all of these cells are critical to an accurate calculation. Our leaving air temperature, our entering water temperature, the size of the unit, the number of coil rows. And to kind of highlight this feature, I'll show this um, by changing the reheat CFM here. So we're gonna change this from 500 to 700 CFM. And when I click enter, we're gonna see this heating capacity change from 21.72 to 30.40. Changing the volume of air changes the heating capacity. And this is done fully dynamically, fully from the cloud with maximum accuracy for the end user. Now to fully kind of analyze the success of this tool, I think we need to do a side-by-side -side comparison. So we're gonna look at the static schedule we started with, the dynamic schedule we've created, and we're gonna look and analyze our results. So here we have our static schedule, which we started with, and our dynamic, more accurate schedule, which we built together and that we have here at the bottom of the screen. And it's time to just compare results. The first way to do this, I think, is, is highlighting a couple of these columns, starting with heating capacity. We can see our dynamic solution has increased the accuracy and precision with more significant figures and, and slightly different values as well. When we look at leaving water temperature, we can see the results of this are even more dramatic. Um, clearly, in the static schedule, the engineer stated an assumption, a target of 120 degree leaving water. 
The reality is, through a real life piece of equipment with real manufacturer's data, the results are a little bit different. And this is truly important and valuable information for a consulting engineer. Here, rather than 120 degrees leaving water temperature, we can see it's more 109 to 113 with these selections. The same is true here for fluid flow rate, and then extremely critically, we can see the same relationship with our acoustics performance here in blue. Now fortunately, the consulting schedule which this came from uh, was pretty bang on and pretty close, but we have improved some of the accuracy through our cloud-based tool, which is pulling this directly from our database here at Price. However, the best part of this tool is the fact that we can expand and change this performance later in the project timeline. To close out this video, let's cut back to our schedule and look at how we could expand on this performance data for future use. So here we are back at our dynamic Excel schedule. And one of the best functions of this being in Excel is the fact that it's fully dynamic. We can add more lines. We can iterate and change for future utilization on this project or other projects. In order to show how simple this is, I'm just gonna take line 13 here. I'm gonna copy it. And we're gonna paste it down to the rest of this spreadsheet. Now, one thing that I wanna highlight is the fact that this is embedded in Excel and not in its own standalone software is a huge improvement to workflow and functionality because I can use typical Excel rules and equations to boost the functionality here. What I'm gonna do here is create a little rule in Excel to reference the line above and increase my maximum CFM by 100 CFM. Now we can see 100 CFM in line 13, 200 CFM below, and with two clicks, I can propagate this down throughout the rest of the schedule to dynamically iterate and create performance for every box size that I could possibly see on a project. This truly is providing a ton of value and efficiency gains for the consulting engineer. We just created 20 selections with the click of a button. So to summarize, the price engineering toolkit for Microsoft Excel boosts efficiency and improves accuracy through a dynamic cloud-based solution. We have lots and lots of engineered tools, both available and in store here at Price Industries. If you're interested in learning more about these tools, please reach out to support at priceindustries.com. Thank you for watching.